live. Hey everyone. Finally got myself a new mic here, so I hope the sound is a lot better than previous videos. I know it's been kinda awful in the past. So let me know if this is a lot better and hopefully this will allow for a bird production. So welcome to my Saturday sketch stream doodles. I usually do this every Saturday and I release a couple of videos here and there. Just taking a sip of tea here and we'll get started. So I'm doing a little portrait today. Let me get this one out of the way. This was a <clears throat> previous stream. I don't know if it shows through, but we'll get rid of this one. I'm excited to watch the new Thor movie, although I'm hearing I'm hearing mixed reviews, so a little concerned. Um, I like Taika Waititi in general, but I'm a little sick of his kind of one-note humor at this point. I've been following his stuff since before he was making like large budget movies. I think the first movie I ever watched of his was Search for the Wilder People. Um, a friend of mine came to town back when uh, I used to live in Philadelphia and she wanted to go watch this indie movie and I honestly was not feeling it plus like, whatever like let's not just and it was Hunt for the Wilder People and when um, I was I was genuinely surprised I was shocked by how much I was enjoying it and um, it was one of those like small um, kind of old-fashioned theaters that just played one movie and it was that and it was I was shocked I was like oh I didn't expect to like this and uh, and then I like sought out his other stuff and when I heard he was making Ragnarok I was so excited and I love love Ragnarok um, Thor is one of my favorite Marvel characters and uh, I've enjoyed his comics more than any other especially God Bomb and God Butcher and um, Walter Simonson run and all that stuff so um, I was slightly disappointed that his movies are not that like they're not the best among the Marvel movies but Ragnarok really changed that and um, I still think Infinity War is my favorite Thor movie because I uh, I do think Infinity War, War is a is a both a Thanos and a Thor movie. Uh, they both go through the same journey. Like they both um, lose everything. They both are in search of one strong weapon to correct uh, the past or to to like to, to as as a solution. Thor goes to find a new hammer. Um, Thanos goes to find stones, and they cross paths in the beginning of the movie and then they have a confrontation at the end so I, I think they're they're the two main characters and I love him the most in that movie he's uh, more than in his own movies and um, Ragnarok was a good I think uh, tonally it was good it, it wasn't it took Thor seriously, but it also introduced a lot of comedic elements, which worked. But from what I'm hearing, early reviews is that maybe the comedy is a bit much. And I don't know, I'll see it tomorrow, going to an IMAX screening. So I'm both excited, but uh, cautious. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to hate it. I want to like it. Um, I don't have a problem with comedy approaches to Thor. I think uh, Thor works 
great when he's not taken too seriously. But if I'm understanding the premise correctly, they're they're dealing with very very heavy um, storylines in the comics. And um, if you guys are interested in me reviewing it after I'm, I I watch it, I can. But um, my only my pre-watching um, thought is that if you're dealing with a heavy subject matter, if you chose to like do God Butcher, God Bomb, and do um, Jane as as Thor, these are two very kind of serious subject, uh, two serious stories. So, why pick those two stories to make your comedic tone for? I mean, you can you can pick a lot of other goofy stuff from Walter Simonson. Like uh, Thor literally turns into a frog. Loki, I think, turns him into a frog. I don't remember the story precisely, but he does turn into a frog. I mean, if you want to go comedic, like get a lot of stories you can you can go comedic with. So so hopefully the tone doesn't undermine the story. That's what I'm saying. But I'm excited to see it. I mean, I like Thor. I like Taika, although the more stuff I see of Taika, the more one note he becomes. Our flag means death was fun, but like again, it was like, okay, this is the kind of... How is this any different than what we do in the shadows and all the other... Um, like, it's the same comedy. We're not changing anything. It's, it's starting to get repetitive. And I don't think... Uh, I don't think Taika is a one-hit kind of wonder kind of guy, so... I don't know, so I hope we'll, uh, we'll see. I found it funny, though, that he admitted that he asked Natalie Portman if he wants, she wants to be in, Star War, in a Star Wars movie and immediately realized that he's asked Padme if she's ever been in a Star Wars movie. <laughs> He's like, I forgot about those. I, li I like Taika as a person. As a, he seems fun, but hopefully Thor is not. But there could be there could be some benefit to knowing that a lot of people think it's too comedic. So um, from the get go, I can uh, if I if I know what I'm gonna get into in advance, I'm more lenient towards it. Usually. When I'm surprised with something, caught off guard is that when I get upset. Like the first time I watched uh, *Inglorious Bastards*, I was having a really rough time because I didn't know a um, a large portion of the movie was gonna be subtitled. And had I known that before walking in, I would have done fine. I just needed to know. So the second time I watched it, I thought it was brilliant. But the first time I watched it, I was kind of going to passively watch a movie in the theaters. I was like, man, I did not know I was going to be doing this much reading this afternoon. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, 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 in full transparency, I'm a little, or at least I used to be slower in reading subtitles, and it used to just frustrate me because I'm not done reading and the conversation Took a like I'm, I'm always two sentences behind everybody, so I don't know. Does anybody else have that issue? Like, I I have a lot of attention deficit things, so I always turn subtitles on anyway because it forces me to pay attention. But when things are in a foreign language and I have to read sentence by sentence, sometimes I'm. I'm slower like I need to I do better when I'm at home where I can like uh, pause and catch up especially for dialogue heavy stuff like Quentin Tarantino's is a lot of dialogue so
Anyway, I'm glad that we're getting more followers on the channel. I'm seeing a lot more people kind of subscribe and a lot of people. Please comment below. Tell me what you would like me to draw here for you because I'm honestly just at a trial and error phase here of seeing what catches interest and what doesn't. I do a lot of stuff. I do a lot of ink stuff. I even do comics panel by panel. I'm working on a comic right now. Um, I do illustration. Um, if you guys are interested in digital stuff, I can like hook up my iPad here and we can paint together and show you my process. Just let me know what you are interested in seeing because all of it is interesting to me and um, I noticed though that my digital stuff, I don't know if it's the quality or just the interest in general, doesn't get as much attention or interest as digital stuff and I think I'm that way as a viewer too I like seeing paper and pencil and it feels more fun but um, but who knows maybe maybe I'm a better drawer than I am a painter so if that's the case whatever it is just let me know what you'd like to see um, if you're interested in some of the digital work there's some digital stuff on the on the channel but it's if you explore the page a little bit but it's it's not from a really long time ago but it's a while back all right um i think i'm gonna keep it short and sweet today um again I don't know if you guys like longer videos, shorter videos. Like I said, I'm just trying things out and see what works. But hey, we got a lot done in this uh, 12 minutes almost or whatever, however we've been at it. So um, let me know if you like this, if you want to see more or what else do you prefer to see. And um, We'll make it happen. I'm trying to get another camera too so you guys can see my face while I'm drawing if that's of any interest whatsoever. And a lot of you have been asking me what kind of material I've been using. It's just a Prismacolor pencil. I also use Polychromos pencil, but the secret to making it soft is getting like a birthday mat or a party mat and drawing on top of that because it's a very soft surface to draw on. So the texture of that mat shows up on the paper. Because if I did this on the hardwood uh, surface of the actual um, table here uh, the texture would look different all right thanks guys hope to see you next time